Let me share with you three different design tools in the world of AI, and you could combine these three and get really mind blowing results. The first one is mid journey. A lot of people already use this one. If you don't know what it is, it basically turns any text that you give it into an image. So it creates images from text. I have a complete tutorial that I'll link below that you could watch to see how I do this. But basically, Inside of Discord, this is where Midjourney takes place. I give it a prompt. So this is the prompt I give it. So all you have to do in the chat bot is type in imagine, and then you could type in your prompt. So my prompt was woman portrait, ultra photo realistic cinematic, looking at camera in 8K with a telephoto lens. And then this is kind of a stylized uh, setting that it gives it right after. And this is the four different versions it gave me. So I'm gonna go ahead and up res. This is for up resing basically able to download one of these. I'll up res this one here and I'll go ahead and download this image. This is our first step into this three step process. Now I'll go ahead and right click and save this image. Our next tool is going to be Photoshop, but Photoshop now has AI. So you could make edits to a photo with just text. I'm going to show you how that works right here. And you could download Photoshop. I'll have a link in the description to the latest version. The version I'm showing you is in beta, but it's available to anyone through that link. So here's my image inside of Photoshop. And look what I could do here. First, I could press C, that's the crop tool. And I could actually make this a bigger image like this, right? There's nothing here. There's no information here. Midjourney didn't create the information. But look what I could do. I'm going to choose the selection tool, the quick selection tool. I'm going to select this area here. And then I'm going to click generative fill. This is the beta version of Photoshop that lets you do this. And you could describe what you want to happen. But in this case, I just wanted to fill out the rest of this picture to make it a bigger picture. So I'm going to press generate. I'm not going to click anything else or type in anything else. And just like that, it filled in the rest of the image for me. And you also have different options. Typically, it gives you three different options that you could choose from. And you could generate new ones if you don't like what it did. But this information just didn't exist before, right? I did not create that. It wasn't in the original photo. Photoshop AI just figured out what to put in this empty section. OK, now I'm going to save this and take it to the third app that I'm going to show you. I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go ahead and export this as a PNG. And this is the third tool that I'm going to show you. It's called layer picks. And this is now going to take that image that we created and edited into life and into a video. I just have to press upload. I'll upload that PNG picture and look at this. I haven't done anything yet, by the way. And layer picks is actually totally free and it's bringing this image to life. And I have a ton of different settings so I could make this a shorter animation, for example, that moves a lot faster. I could change the amount of motion here to be a lot more of a motion. The animation style right now I have a set to perspective, so it's kind of moving in and out. But he separated the foreground background. And all I have to do now is press share. And then I could go ahead and save this as an MP4 and I could post it to my favorite social media platforms online. My team and I are also putting together an entire learning platform for AI, a Netflix style learning platform with videos, tutorials, courses, download resources, basically everything you need to master AI, not just in creativity and design, also productivity and a lot more in an all in one bundle. I'll put a link in the description to that if you want to learn more. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you next time.